West past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay. Gettys? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, we was in business with her family and turned sour. It's a long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands, it's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey. Mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh. <laughs> When's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh. These supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. <laughs> 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 Bye, bud. <laughs> Come back here! <laughs> Take that horse if you need it. Go easy on him. Can't have trouble here. That's my damn wagon! Hey, 
Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie. Work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife, even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. You seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother, he tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just... please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns. Milton, get over here. Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, hmm. Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say, is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on, I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh, 
I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Oh. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Oh. Just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milk. Hey, just sit down, I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. Ain't so bad. Almost got a pail full. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. Now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's gotta be done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. Boy, bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. Oh, it splashes. Coming. Ah, stinking piles of... John Marston, the terror of the turds. Mm. 
Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Well, won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Put some coffee on. Hey, Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. Well, sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. <sighs> but I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Well, yep. there's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Doing all right. That's it. Fine. You haven't built a fence, but you have seen one, right? Boy, I could do this quicker. Come on, Milton. Yeah. <gasps> 
that fence down and get over here, boy. Hurry. Hurry. Quick as you can. Milton. Quick here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on! Move! Go! Uh, oh. 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 Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. The other hands. Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, 
runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much... I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck! Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh... Is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Oh. When Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Easy. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. Whoa. That's Jeremiah. None of that. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Settle down, okay? Come on. Easy, boy. Oh. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh. Calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm, I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <laughs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. Good horse. <sighs> All right. <laughs> trouble now. All right. He's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you.
You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. And pull. Grip him. A little more. Oh. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please. For me. For him. How's he been? And kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know, but maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on, you know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. 
How about you speed up a mic? Okay. Whoa. Even faster, come on. Faster? Sir? Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. back you think you're ready for a little race I guess all right we go back to the path and up to the ranch okay on my go go Son. You won. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's gotten a lot better. Thanks. Hey, you keep practicing your riding. Sure. 